All of the photos you'll see in this video are shot in the negative film preset on the Ricoh GR Diary Edition. All right, we're shooting with the Ricoh GR Diary Edition. This camera arrived just two days ago in the mail, so it's brand spanking new. We are shooting raw, we're shooting aperture priority, and inside of the presets, we're using negative film. Really excited about this camera. I owned the Ricoh GR3 for a good while, and it was easily one of my favorites. This is Randy's record shop. It's been here for a long time. They sell records. In fact, they were sponsors of my fifth grade uh, baseball team. Well, I was in fifth grade and uh, happened to be on a baseball team, but these guys sponsored it, which is so cool. I've actually purchased a lot of records from these guys. Just a really cool shop. It's been open since 1978, so it's a staple in the community and it's been operating and ran as a record shop since then, pretty incredible. We'll make our way through some alleys and try to find some street artwork, which you guys know is my favorite. We probably won't photograph all of it, but this is pretty cool. So it looks like they are uh, record covers or album covers. And I should probably know which cover these are. This is Fleetwood Mac. I think that's worthy of a photo. This is actually a really cool piece of artwork right here. It says salty, but this person's car is covering it. So I would have taken a photo of this had that not been there. But well, we keep walking around. This is a cool little building right here. Happiness favors the bold. I really love the simplicity of the Rico, just so small, compact. In fact, it's smaller than your iPhone. Obviously it's a little thicker, but it's just a great camera to have on you at all times. And at the 24.2 megapixels, you're gonna get amazing photos. I don't, man. I'm sorry. Cigarette? Not even that, man. I apologize. I'll start carrying some cash, though, and some cigarettes, though, in the future. You want a coffee or anything, dude? You want me to buy you a coffee? Yeah, just a, just like a coffee with some creamer and sugar, or? Yeah, just five raw sugar and cream. Five raw sugar and cream? Okay, I got you. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, dude. There you go, man. Thank you. Take care, man. Wish I could help you in more ways, but stay warm. What was your name? Buddy. Buddy? Yeah. I'm Andy. Nice to meet you, man. Stay warm. Yep. So I've said it before in other videos, if you do buy the Rico, a wrist strap is a must. Um, I've owned two Rico GR3s in the past and dropped both of them. One from about a foot high, the other one on pavement about five feet high. Both survived, but if you're interested in uh, keeping it in good shape, you have to strap it. So there's a person walking on the sidewalk here. We're gonna see if we can get her in frame with this wall art over here. Be patient. And that's the trick. If you want to be discreet, you just beat them to the spot, plant up, put the camera up, and then just let them walk by. Oh. 
So I have a Border Collie named Charlie and he would absolutely clear these fences. Easy. Hey, pup. Hi. You should be able to jump up. Hi. <laughs> oh, man. That must be so fun for them just to bark at everything that goes by. So much stimulation for the dogs. So I don't mind it. I don't mind getting barked at. It's a pretty cool old Toyota. Oh, it's a parking space. Again, we got some old abandoned buildings, which I love because these will be knocked down soon. And who knows, maybe when I grow out of the street photography stuff, I'll be just an old dude on Facebook posting about how I have so many photos of old abandoned buildings. Let's come back here. I don't think we should be back here, but kind of sketched out. You don't know what's back here. Screw it. I, I, I don't know why I'm just such a sucker for stuff like this. I love it so much. The whole photography page should just be called Abandoned Photography, right? Sure beats photographing all the uh, new buildings that all look the same. Yeah, this is rad. If you buy one of these new townhomes, you have this amazing, gorgeous view of this abandoned, broken down building. Awesome. I, I would enjoy it. So cool. What is that? It's got like Virgin Mary's and Jesus on it. So weird. Hello, good morning. Yep, just shrines everywhere for Guadalupe and Jesus. Being out on a cool, brisk, Morning like this reminds me of walking around San Diego as a child with my grandma. She didn't drive or anything, so we would ride the bus. And if you guys want to see some of the cool memories or some of my favorite places in San Diego, thanks to my grandma, uh, click this video right here, San Diego street photography. I think you guys will enjoy that one.
So there's not a lot of cool stuff around here. So I just picked up a scooter and we're gonna try to go to some places where we can photograph some interesting stuff. So come along for the ride. That's another great benefit of this camera. Like I said before, it's so compact. So just threw it in its case, threw it in my pocket, power it on, and we are back in business. So if we talk a little bit about the Ricoh GR Diary Edition, on power down and power up, it will say GR Diary Edition. Not so much on the power up, but on the power down, which is pretty cool. And as far as the body feeling different from the Ricoh GR3, it actually does. Obviously the color is different. Uh, these are interchangeable. So you can get some gold ones, black, red, you can make it look really cool. Um, but the finish itself, you, there's a little bit of grit on it. Uh, I, I, I do think the color is a lot cooler than just a straight black like on the Rico GR3, the grip does feel a little different, a little bit more premium. And because this is an updated camera and the Rico GR3 has been out for a few years, uh, you can't expect that. So it does feel a little bit more premium to touch. Uh, the weight feels about the same. You do have a video record button here on the side. And then what I also think is really cool on this camera they added a USB-C so you could charge it in camera. Now, the thing that I noticed was kind of weird about uh, when this camera arrived, there was no actual separate battery charger where you could take the battery out and charge it separately. So it just came with a USB-C cable and a brick, which isn't really my preference because if you leave this sitting on a counter charging or on a desk, the likelihood of something knocking into it is pretty high. So at least with my old Ricoh GR3 and the separate battery charger, I could put this in a safe space and keep it away and just, you know, charge my batteries and not have to worry about the, the body taking damage or falling off a desk or something like that. So they didn't include a separate charger, which I know is not a big deal, but uh, that's something that uh, I didn't really like about that. But as far as that, um, everything else about this camera is pretty rad. There's a graffiti building with an owl. Ooh, it's right there. So let's walk up this way. We shouldn't be walking on this, but we're going to anyway. And we'll get a cool photograph of the owl. Oh, so cool. Even with a light pole. Get one with the light pole in frame and then one without. And then look at that little roof area that they have. That's pretty cool. So all of the pictures that you'll see in this video, we're rocking the negative film preset on Aperture Priority. And so we're not touching anything in post. I'm not bringing the exposure down. I'm not lightening anything up. I'm letting the camera just kind of go off those settings. And I want you guys to see what you can get straight out of camera with the Ricoh GR Diary Edition, or if you update your Ricoh GR3.
just too much good stuff to pass up, guys. Even this van. This reminds me of something out of like Ninja Turtles or something. Sun's a little bit harsh right there on the headlight, but we're just pointing and clicking. Did I feel like that's a van you get abducted in? I do feel like I'm on a Ninja Turtle set. This is really awesome. A little creepy, but awesome. That's what people say about me. Creepy, but awesome. <laughs> Just a nice little drip coffee with some raw sugar and cream, thanks to Buddy. Buddy's recommendation. Can we get this guy on his motorcycle? Is the shutter fast enough? We'll see. I think we got him. Let me know what you guys thought of the negative film preset. And if you want to watch more street photography videos, click this video right here or right here.